I am always amazed at the number of people that don't know how to make sausage gravy. Anyways, what I do is I start with a just a regular glass of milk. I put three heaping tablespoons of flour in it. And then I use a little whisker and I just go like this. I usually put one heaping tablespoon of flour in. Stir it up. Then put a second one in. Stir it up. Make sure you go all the way to the bottom. And put the third one in. You do the same thing. So I've already got the... Uh, biscuits in the oven I have my cast iron pan heating up for the sausage so the next thing I'm going to do is once the uh, pan heats up I'm going to start to uh, brown the sausage and then I'll show you the rest Once you have your sausage browned, some people will drain the grease. I don't. I think the, the grease is where you get a lot of your flavor. I don't drain hamburger when I make chili. I don't dra drain sausage when I make gravy. All right. So the next thing you're going to do is now take your milk with your flour, pour that in there. And then I usually do a second cup or thereabouts, a little more milk. And then it's just a matter of letting this come to temperature until it thickens. Usually I stir it often. It'll take it a few minutes. When I'm seeing it so that it looks like it's kind of like boiling, the air bubbles escaping through the top, that's usually when I'll turn it. So I give it a quick turn, then I wait till it does it again. You can see that it's already starting to thicken up.
the closer it gets to being done, the more often you're going to have to stir it also. There will come a time where I'm like, okay, I like that consistency. Then I cut, shut it off and basically wait on the biscuits to finish up. Probably here in just another minute, matter of fact. So now it's actually starting to stick to the spatula. I'm just going to go ahead and shut it off. Because it is a cast iron pan, it will hold heat longer. And I'll bring you back when the biscuits are done. One other thing while I'm waiting on the biscuits to be done, you don't have to have the little whisk thing. You basically just need a glass of milk, three tablespoons, three heaping tablespoons of flour in it. You could use a fork, a butter knife, you could use anything to mix it up. The important thing is, is you don't want it to have huge clumps of flour in it. So just mix it up the best you can with whatever tools you have and that's how you make perfect gravy. Now if the biscuits would hurry up. I kind of did these biscuits a little bit different. So I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. They still have like six more minutes, which is fine. There's the biscuits. There's the gravy. There's my plate that already has some biscuits broken up on it. And look how thick this gravy is. Look, it will stay on a spatula. Now you can make it thinner if you would rather have it thinner, but I like it thick. So there you have it. That's how I make biscuits and gravy.